get out of your studio, which in most cities is a very small space, and to suddenly be in this huge open area, lots of facilities where you can kind of go a bit crazy. I understand Parler as a place to like step out of your, your normal uh, practice. Parler is, we, f- we found this amazing location and we're trying to bring artists, give them the opportunity to work in these spaces. Um, Parda started three years ago. Um, it's an international residency run by me and my partner, Diane Sarazina. We met in London back in 2015 um, and immediately <coughs> the first day we met decided that this was something that we wanted to do together. Um, so the model is, is monthly. We have nine international artists and one uh, local artist that we uh, take who lives locally, doesn't need the accommodation and gives us a link to the local art scene as well. Um, so each artist has a 40 meter squared studio and accommodation with the residency with an exhibition at the end of each month. Uh, we work with a curator in residence who kind of guides the artists and they're also based in Lisbon. We maybe do four exhibitions outside of the residency per year, um, either in the gallery or in one of the sites that we have around the industrial park, some of the abandoned spaces or the unused warehouses. But we have a protocol with the uh, the land management, the, the company that looks after the warehouses. Within our protocol, we we took on this warehouse and four cottages in the old works quarter, but they also gave us access to any unused spaces. So if they have warehouses that we're interested in, they're not being used, we can take on for a month, two months to, to do a project to allow an artist to do an in, installational intervention. Um, so we can kind of move around this site as we wish, yeah. We've been welcomed with open arms, especially in Bajeru, as a, a, like a bringer of change, of like looking to the future. Bajeru was this huge industrial empire up until the 70s, mm. and then really fell on hard times, and just the youth fled Lisbon looking for more opportunities, and we're really the only gallery in Bajeda at the moment and it's been received well as a, um, an idea for the future and I hope it continues to grow.